this one, you can use a wall, have a wall handy to be used. Don't necessarily need it. I'll give an option for without it as well. We'll okay. do a little bit more of a, a high intensity interval training one today. We'll just start with a warm up anyway. So okay. just kind of doing a little bit of warm up. If you want to hold on to a wall for balance, we'll just do some leg swings to start off with. So getting the legs warmed up, we'll do leg swings forward and then sideways and then swapping to the other leg. So today will be a little bit more of a high intensity interval training or hit training if you've ever done one of those. Um, we're going to be working for 30 seconds and then taking a 30 second break, repeating all, we have eight exercises I believe to go through or six to go through and go sideways here. Six to go through, we'll do all of that, take a one minute break and repeat that. We're going to do three sets of everything. So get a good sweat here. I'll give options for kind of lower intensity or low impact most of them are jumping based or quick movement type things so i'll give you options to be doing other options there all right let's switch to the other side hope everyone had a good easter work off some of those chocolates and sweets all right and then we'll go sideways with this one. Watch you don't knock anything over. So I do have a mat here as well. We'll do a couple things, some ab exercises on the mat as well. Mostly standing and doing that. Just do a couple, kind of pulling your knee up to your chest. Get the legs moving a little bit more. Okay, and then one last one, we'll just do a little bit of an arm swing side to side, opening up the chest, getting the arms moving a little bit as well. You can even add a march into this, marching across, getting the legs in as well. So as we're going through these, as we've kind of said in other sessions, if at any point you feel dizzy, lightheaded, take a break, if anything hurts, take a break, make any modifications if you need to. I'll try and give lots of options of easier versions, harder versions, but always go back to either marching or an easier alternative as we go. I'm just gonna lower it so you can see my mat. And then, yeah, if anything's painful, don't do it. Don't push yourself through. This is just aiming to get you moving, not specific to a physio workout that's specific to you. So just go at your own pace, take lots of breaks if you need them. Go back to marching, do whatever you need to, and don't need to follow along with exactly what I'm doing. All right, so we are gonna go through this HIT training. I'm gonna take a little bit more time going through the first one because I have to explain it. And if I don't get my 30 second rest, I'm not gonna be able to talk. So we'll go through the first set a little bit slower so I can explain them. And then we'll go through the two other circuits at the regular pace. So again, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off of all these exercises. So our first exercise, Easy version, just doing squats in the air. Medium version, you're doing squat jumps. Hard version, you're doing burpees with that jump. So you're coming from the jump, coming down to your hands and back and up, all right? So I'm gonna start the timer now. That's 30 seconds starting now. So jump and down and that's our full burpee or you're just doing air squats. If that's too much impact, you're just doing squats. I'm going for 30 seconds here on everything. I have my family doing the exercises with me, so if you hear other noises or groaning, that's them. If you have the timer, so that'll ding when we're done. Go three, two, and one. All right, that's number one. 30 second break here, walk it off. Next one, we're gonna keep up with those jumping. Again, easy version. We're doing lunges out to the side. If you have enough room, doing both ways, going out to the side, that's easy version. Harder version, we're doing hops side to side, to make it even harder. You're jumping and coming down to touch. So you need to put that back toe down, you can. Getting a bit of a core work there. We're not at time yet, and now we are. Go ahead there. Again, jumping, touching those toes. Keep core engaged as you're leaning over, chest up, reaching down or you're just doing hop side to side, make sure you're getting that nice landing. Knee over toe there. 
get that land, you can get the arms going as well, or the easy version, just doing lunges alternating side to side. Keep it up there. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, I'm gonna have a little pause here while I catch my breath. The next one is mountain climbers. So take a little break, I'll let you know when to go. What you're gonna do is down in a high plank position. You're gonna go to the side. What you're doing from here, driving the knees up. So that's the medium version. Easy version, you just bring your foot up towards your hand and back. Hard version, you just go faster. So go as fast as you can, 30 seconds. It is a good amount of time. And we are starting now. So down in that high plank, doing our mountain climbers here. Again, make sure back is nice and flat, abs are engaged. Don't stick the, the butt too high in the air. Go at your own pace, as slow as you need to, or just bringing foot up towards that hand and a little bit of a modified lunge in this plank position here. I think we're almost there. Should, there you go, there's the ding. Take that 30 second break here. Again, I'm gonna pause, give myself a little bit of extra time. Walk it off a little bit, this is your recovery. The next one is a ski jump. So again, I'll show you. We have about 20 seconds left. So we're coming from here, jumping back and forth. Easier version. You're standing there, you're just doing a reverse lunge there, up and down. So harder version, you're jumping. Okay, again, don't worry about speed, it's the control as well. We're going in five seconds here. So whichever one is most comfortable for you, get the arms going opposite. There we go, 30 seconds on. Keep chest up nice and high. That control, don't let that front knee dive in or out. Focus on over top. Again, if you need to, easier version. Just go with the reverse lunges. Still hard enough. Still gonna get that good exercise, but going at your own pace here. So you got two seconds. Hand rest. All right. Another 30 seconds here. Just a little bit longer, so I have time to explain. The next one is you have the option of using a wall if you have access to one. We're gonna be doing a wall squat. So with this, you're coming back against the wall nice and flat, abs engaged. So ideally coming to about a 90 degree angle, pushing your heels into the ground, back against the wall. If that's too hard, you come up into a higher angle and doing that. If you don't have a wall or you want to try something possibly a little bit harder, you come into an air squat, either hold that, so I'm just squatting there. So you can also do a little bit of a pulse, so small, Movements up and down there. You have the options. Oop, there we go. So this is the first time we're trying out the, the interval training. So have 20 seconds. You can use whichever modification you'd like, either wall or not against the wall. It'll be 30 seconds here. We have 10 seconds of the break. Kept that one going a little bit longer for both myself and for you guys. Definitely gonna be sweaty by the end of this. All right, here we go. Three, two. And one. So if you're squatting, either just hold it, do a little pulse. Make sure you think about chest is up and you're just doing small pulses there or your back is against the wall, back nice and flat, keeping abs engaged, pushing there, arms can be across your chest, out in front, wherever's comfortable for you. Just gonna hold that. Should feel a little bit of a burn in the thighs there. On there we go. That's the 30 seconds. All right, one last exercise. And then we get a one minute break. So here, we are going to be lying on our back. From here, you're gonna be doing a leg lift and you can also add a hip lift on top of it. So from here, I like to put my hands underneath my button here. Just so my back stays nice and flat. If you'd like to just have them off to the side, that's okay too. The biggest focus here is pulling the belly button down, making sure your back is nice and flat. From here, you're lowering the legs and lifting them back up. So with this, if you start to feel your back arching, don't go as far, just lower them a little bit. And that's pretty good. Again, the timer hasn't started yet, so we still got 20 seconds while I explain. 
Okay, if you want to make it harder, you go down, and then from here, you're going to lift so your hips actually come off the ground, pushing into the ground as much as you need to to lift yourself up into the air. Again, nice and controlled. Don't let yourself just lift up and flop back down. We have three seconds until you're going, and go. So again, lowering down as much as you can, doing a small little lift as well. I prefer having my hands close to underneath my bum just so that I can feel that control a little bit better. Only going as far as comfortable. And if you want to just do one or the other, either just the leg lifts up and down or just the hip lifts from the top up and down. You're welcome to do that. Oh. And that's time. All right, so that is our full circuit. Now we have a one minute break and then we repeat everything there. So do whatever you need to here. Take a little stretch, do a little movement, get some water, and then we will get right back into it. I'll let you know when. All right, so again, I'll kind of repeat all the steps quickly while we're here. That was just warming that we still got a minute here. First one was that squat jump. You can add the burpee into it to make it harder. To make it easier, you just do that standing squatting. Second one was that lateral jump. Make it harder, you reach for the toe. Coming over and reaching for the toe. To make it easier, you're standing still, doing the lateral lunge. Third one was our mountain climbers. Go as fast as you need to. To make it harder, slower down and just bring foot up to your hands. Number four was our ski jumps. So in that split squat position, jumping up and back, make it easier. You just go backwards, reverse lunge. Number five was our wall squat or standing squat pulse. And number six was our last one, the leg lift and hip lift. So go through all those. I'll try and keep explaining them as we go. As I get more tired, it's harder to talk through, but I'll keep it going. We have four seconds left. And our first one was that squat jump. All right, so here we go. Doing our squat jump or all the way into a burpee. So jumping hands down into a burpee or you're just doing air squats. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. Whatever you feel up to doing today. We've only got 13 seconds left. Push it hard, almost there. Two and one. All right, take a break. Good. Nice work. The next one was our lateral jumps. Either lateral jumps sideways. Again, you're just doing that for our normal version, harder version. You're coming over, keeping the abs engaged, reaching for the toes. Easier version, you're lunging to either side. Right, we're starting up. We have seven seconds. Catch your breath, take some water, take a break, whatever you need to do. Two and one, lateral jumps. If you need to, as you're reaching, you can put that toe back behind you, just for balance there. Keep core engaged, heads up, chest up, reaching over. Nice work, 10 seconds left. You got it. Then easier version, just doing lunges either way. And there we go. Nice work. That's number two. Number three was our mountain climbers. So either mountain climbers, going quickly, going slowly, whatever's comfortable, even the slower down version, easiest version, just bringing that one foot up towards either hand. All right. We are starting in 10 seconds. Take that little break. All right. Five, four, three, two, and one, all right? Let's do the mountain climbers. Go at your own pace here. Keep abs engaged. Watch your bum isn't up too high. Shoulders are pushing into the ground, nice and high. Halfway there, 15 seconds, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one, take a break. Whew, okay. By the end of this, my face will be the same color as my shirt. All right. 
Next one is our ski jump, side to side. Take a break, have some water. Whatever you need, you have 15 seconds. Sorry, ski jump up and down this way, I'll turn this way, or you're doing reverse lunges. I have three seconds here. All right, here we go. So our ski jump. Keep that control. Front knee stays right over top of the foot. Don't let the knee dive in. Again, or are you just doing reverse lunges? Same thing, focusing on that front knee over top of toes. You have three seconds. Keep going. And rest. All right. Whew. Next one is our wall sits. Wherever, whatever height feels comfortable for you, or you're doing your air squat or air pulses, coming into a squat position, holding that. That's one option. Pulsing is another, or up against the wall at whatever height. We have six seconds left of our break here. Keep those legs moving. All right, here we go. 30 seconds here. Engaging the arms. You can have them out in front. You can have them up above. Keeping back nice and flat against the wall. Wherever is most comfortable for you there. And we're going to hold. Almost there. Feel the burn. There we go. All right, take a break. Our last one is lying down leg lift, and you can add that hip lift on top as well. All right, here we go. We have 15 seconds left. All right, 10 seconds here. Again, you can have your hands underneath. Biggest thing is you wanna keep back flat, keep the belly button pulled to the ground, only going as low as you feel you can. And starting now, 30 seconds. Keep that control. Not about speed on this one. Time under tension. Good, and again, you can only do one part of it if you feel more comfortable doing that. Either the leg lift or the hip lift. Try to protect your tailbone. Don't slam yourself down too hard. Good. All right. Now we get a little break. Again, a minute and a half break here. Have some water. March it out. We have one last round of everything. We will get just enough time to get through everything. We have another seven minutes left here and then a quick cool down. Whew. All right. Take a break. Open some doors. Get some air. Whatever you need. All right. That's our one minute warning here. Last one all the way through. First one's our squat jumps or burpees or just air squats. Second one's our lateral jumps or lateral lunges side to side. Third, mountain climbers. Fourth is ski jumps. Fifth is our wall squat or air pulses. And number six is the last leg lift and hip lift. So I have 30 seconds here. March it out. Keep the legs moving. We're almost there. A nice quick 30 minute high intensity interval training. Great for getting your quick cardio burst. Some may have already gone for a run or something today, but that just gives you an extra little, little bit on top of it. All right, here we go. We got five seconds. First one's our jump squats again. Either jumping squats, burpees, or air squats. So here, are you doing air jump squats here? Or you're doing burpees. So reaching up from the squat jump and coming down, back into a plank position. Hold it up, and into a plank position. Keep your body nice and controlled. Don't let hips sink to the ground. But this one, we're just doing a high plank. If you want to make it harder, you can bring your chest all the way down to the ground. We'll do a push up. And we got two seconds here, and up. Take a break. All right. Next up is our lateral jumps 
or just lateral lunges, side to side, make it harder. You reach for that toe. Again, core engage, chest up, up, head up. Keep that control. All right, 10 seconds here. Catch your breath, take some water, take a break. If you're lightheaded, Daisy, definitely take a break, sit down, do what you need to. Here we go, two and one. Lateral skip, jump, side to side. Reach for that toe if you'd like. Keep that core control. You can put that back foot down if you need to as well. Got 10 seconds left. Keep it going. Again, easier version. Just that side lunge, side to side. Three, two, and one. Nice. All right. Almost there. Mountain Climbers is up next. All right. Four more minutes of work with our little breaks in between, so even less than that. You got it. All right, 10 seconds here. Again, we're going into high plank, pushing shoulders into the ground, hands into the ground, shoulders up high, knees coming up to elbows. The faster you go, the more it's gonna burn. If you need an easier version, you're just bringing one foot, resting it up by that hand, alternating side to side. If that's too much, you just bring the foot halfway up, wherever you feel most comfortable, or you're going into a full mountain climber. We have 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Good. All right. Three exercises left to go, and you're all done for today. All right. Ski jumps is the next one. They're in that split squat position. Jumping one foot forward, one foot back. Again, watch that front knee. Don't let it dive in, don't let it dive out. Easier version is just coming into a nice reverse lunge. Take whatever modification you, can, you need. Three seconds. All right, here we go. Yeah, whatever feels comfortable there. Just doing the reverse lunges. It's a great adjustment. Whatever you need to minimize any pain or just make it a lot, little bit easier. Make sure you're still getting your good workout here. We got five seconds. You got it. And rest. Whew, all right. Two more exercises. Next one is our wall squat. Back up against the wall. Core is engaged, making sure back is flat. Knees, ideally at a 90 or higher, whatever feels most comfortable. Other options is just our air squat or air pulses. We have seven seconds here. All right, here we go. 30 seconds on. Let's go. Again, hands can be wherever's comfortable on your thighs. Engage out in front of you. Keep that stomach tucked, back nice and flat. Squeeze the glutes, push your heels into the ground. Whew. Somewhat of a recovery while your legs are still working. Almost there. And good. One last exercise and we're all done for today. And the last one is those leg lifts. So from there, lying on your back. Are they doing just one or the other or both exercises? Under the knees, under the knees, if you need to, or flat against the ground. Take a little rest here as we keep going. Don't have my timer, so we just got to wait for the ding. Should be coming here. There we go. Last one for today. And then we get a little cool down. Again, focus on keeping belly button tucked to the ground, back flat, slow movement, coming down only as far as comfortable and only lifting up as far as comfortable. Really focus on that slow coming down from that hip lift. We don't want the tailbone to be smacking down against the ground. That's just using gravity to pull you back. We really want to have that control if you're not able to do that. So you don't need to, that is it. That is all the way through our 
high intensity interval training for today. Nice and sweaty, nice and worked well through. We're gonna do a little bit of a cool down here. So just start with a little bit of marching with squats, swing the arms, get that heart rate to come down a little bit before we do some stretching. Whatever position's comfortable for you right now. Just gonna get everything moving a little bit. Good work getting through the exercises today. Right on time here. Oh, all right. So from here, we'll just do some standing stretches. You can also do them lying down if you'd like. If you need to hold onto a wall for the stretches, feel free. We're just gonna do a little quad stretch, reaching for that heel, pulling it in as much as possible there, whatever's comfortable. Try and get that hip straight with the other leg. So pulling it backwards a little bit, that'll feel the stretch all the way through the quad there, all the way up to the hip flexors. Holding that, all right, and then we'll go shake that out, go to the other side, same thing, holding it there. Good. Let's get those hamstrings worked out as well. So doing some sweeps down to the floor, we're gonna alternate sides. So ankles down on the floor, I'm just sweeping down. Don't just bend your back, we wanna try and get all the way from the hips to feel that stretch. We're just swinging the arms. Get the arms moving as well as we go through there. Do two or three sweeps on each side, go back and forth a little bit. Get some movement there. Great work today. Probably a little bit sweaty, I know I am. Just do a little bit of a, a groin stretch there, so not too much of a lunge, you can hold on to something or hold on to your thigh, just getting that stretch on that inner leg, over and back, and to the other side, just kind of bouncing into it as much as you feel you can. Good, one more each side there. All right, and last one over here. All right, we'll do one last one, sitting down, get a nice glute stretch, because we did quite a bit there. We're gonna have one leg straight, the other one is coming across to the other side. You're doing a little bit of a torso twist as well. I'm gonna do the other side so you can see me. One leg straight, one across. You can have the elbow on one side and just twisting across. Gets a good stretch on the glute as well as opening up, getting a, some movement through your back there. And can come up high. I think about sitting up nice and tall, pulling yourself up from the top of your head there. Just getting that stretch. And switch to the other side. All right. Feel free to do whatever stretching or moving you need to at the end of this. Get yourself all the way back down to resting heart rate. And have a great rest of your day. Again, we have our sessions going leave on Wednesday and Friday. Definitely, we might have someone else back. Nope, just Wednesday and Friday. So Dom on Wednesday, Gabe again on Friday. Would love to have some feedback if anyone has any things you'd like to see more of or things you like, just let us know. And hope everyone had a good day today. And enjoy the rest of the nice sunshine.